Well, hello all you hobby hunters and welcome to my Boredom Busters. I am Brad Claybaugh, your host, and this is Brad's Boredom Busters. This is the channel where you can come to explore all sorts of hobbies. So Buster, let's show these fine people what to do if they want to subscribe to our channel. Take it away, Buster. And today we are going to continue with our tie-dye series. Our last tie-dye was the Lotus Flower Mandela. Today I'm going to show you how to fold and dye a peace sign on your t-shirt. Our last project was basically learning how to fold on some straight lines. Well today you'll learn how to fold along a curved line. So like every tie-dye project, you pre-wash your shirt, Soak it in soda ash for at least 20 minutes. And then you put it in the washer and spin it so it's mostly dry. Then we can bring it out onto the table and tie up our pattern. And then we can dye it. All right, Busters, I want to mention one thing about Dharma dyes. Uh, that's the dye I prefer to use. Uh, these videos are not sponsored in any way by Dharma. I purchase all my own product. I just, like I say, prefer their product. You can use any dye product that you choose to use. Uh, I do leave links at the end of the video for Dharma because, like I say, I do like their product. And so I think you should give it a try if you haven't uh, used it at this point. So let's get on with uh, tying up our pattern. We're going to be doing a peace sign. And I decided to do them in Rastafari colors. So I think that'll be pretty far out looking. So let's get over to the table. I'll show you how to fold up and tie up the peace sign pattern. All right, gang, we're at the table to fold up our t-shirt. So let's talk about materials that we're gonna need for this project. Obviously, 100% uh, cotton t-shirt, whatever size you want. This one, I believe, is a extra large, yes, an adult extra large. And you're gonna need kite string, your rubber bands. And for this one, because of the specific angles with the peace sign, a protractor is going to be necessary. And your water soluble fabric marker. Okay, let's get started with the folding of the shirt. So for this pattern, it's best if we turn it inside out, then lay it out flat on our table, find center on the collar, Then take the bottom, take your two corners, pull that. That'll give you the center in the bottom. All right, so take it at the collar and at the bottom to your center marks. And fold that, pull the front out. So decide where you want the center of your peace sign. Depending how big the peace sign is, like my sample shirt that I showed in the previous video was really full size, so I literally put it right in the center. This one I think we're gonna do a little smaller. So we're gonna pull the center just about at, just below the armpit. So that'll go there. So from this point of the center of your peace sign, lay your protractor out on that and come out and mark at 60 degrees. That'll be our first fold. So take the bottom, pull that up 
and lay that on your 60 degree mark. And now bring your bottom back to this new fold. So that gives you two equal little pie shapes there. Then take your collar and bring that over to this new fold. And so you will have three folds on the one side and then it'll just be one big one on the other side. Okay, so now we'll take the kite string, tie a slip knot in it, and then take your washable marker, pull that in there and tighten your string up around the marker. And that will help you make your curve or the crescent shape for the peace sign. So I'm gonna come down three fingers from the bottom of the collar. And that'll be where I start my peace sign. Take the string and hold it at the base where all the point, you know, all the pieces come together at the bottom of the point, and then come across the shirt to create the, this will make the outer circle of your peace sign. There we go. And take the string off Save your slip knot loop because we're going to need that here in a minute. Take and turn this so the single fold is facing you and the three folds are away. And now we're going to start doing accordion pleats. Just take a little gather of fabric about a half an inch or so. Keep gathering that up. The real trick is when you're done pulling all this together, your curved line should actually become a straight line. It's a little trickier when you get in because about halfway through you've got where that fabric is doubled up more so it's a little thicker so just be patient just kind of take your time straightening out your folds and your pleats and all but you want that to be relatively straight across all right now we can take the kite string that up get that over to your line and snug it up there tighten that up and then loop it around about three or four times to help lock it in At this point, you've got your three folds that face away from you. You're going to bring this part around over here. So you're going to start gathering up and according those up so you still line up this edge 
over here and I'll show you. And at first it's it's awkward to bring it around. You just kind of tuck it under, and do the best you can, but you just start bringing this end around. Just like this and create more accordion folds. Just like that. So that's what it should look like when you're finished. Now, the three folds that you had here, the way that it's all folded, that ends up being the different legs of the peace sign. And so I've learned that the bigger your peace sign and the wider the legs of the peace sign to accomplish that you want to tie out further. But for a smaller one like this, we want to keep the next tie relatively close. So we'll bring the kite string right about there. And then the next wrap will be equal distance about here. So take your kite string and just bring that under and come across this spot. And just kind of gently snug that up. You don't want it too tight or it'll kind of lose the loose shape of this. You just want to come around about three, four times there to hold that place really well. And then you can come back to the center once. All right, so you know it's holding that shape really well. All right, so then the next spot here. Kind of clean up these accordion folds. Straighten that out as best you can. All right, so then you come under again and straight across to here. There we go. But you want them to be fairly equal. I think my mark was a little far. Uh, there we go. About there. All right. Grab that. Lock that in three or four times. Good. Okay. Now with your tail from the slip knot, you want to pull that out because we'll need to tie off onto that. So that's how you tie up the peace sign. So you will dye whatever color, like I said, I'm doing Rastafari colors. So I decided the, the circle and the legs of the peace sign are gonna be red. So that'll be here. The spots that are in the center of the peace sign between the legs I'm going to do yellow and then I'll do a little bit of yellow on the outside of the circle of the peace sign and then I'm going to do a two-tone green on the rest of the shirt. This I'll scrunch up and so we can do the scrunching now. This is finished folding. Let's open this up a little bit so we can kind of lay out the fabric so we don't have too many thick spots. There's going to be a few where you have overlaps that are unavoidable. But try and spread it out so it's kind of equal thickness everywhere as much as possible. 
Something like that. There we go. All right, and then just do a scrunch, and basically that's just gathering your fabrics up. And I'll tell you, um, just from experience, that because this part of the, well, the peace sign itself is sitting on the front of the shirt, so a lot of this fabric is actually going to be the back. So whatever colors you're dyeing the rest of the shirt will end up being on the back. Um, the smaller you make your peace sign though, then the more fabric on the sides and around it that you'll see in the front. So that's why I made this one a little bit smaller. So you have some more of the green color showing on the front of the shirt, but a, a lot of it's going to be on the back. Okay, let's just use the rubber bands to hold that together. Okay, all ready for dye. Let's go out in the garage, I'll see you there. Okay, busters, so we're out here in the garage. Make sure you got your gloves on, your apron. You wanna keep yourself from getting dye all over you. It's possible, so just be prepared. Okay, we've got our shirt all tied up. And so let's go over the colors. I've got a mixture of deep yellow and light yellow. I've got a mixture of Chinese red and dragon fruit. Then we've got new emerald green and bright green. All right, let's apply the dye. We will start with the peace sign itself. So that'll be our dragon fruit and Chinese red. And that, your, your whatever color you wanna make the peace sign, that goes between these two strings. So you've got three strings. It's this area plus this area. You go over your center part. All right. Get it on. And this area is pretty thick of fabric because of the way it's gathered with the many layers. So it's going to take dye slowly to make sure it's saturated. So it's best to come back multiple times. So we'll let that sit. All right, let's do the yellow. And yeah. And we want to do yellow out here on this side. Well, let's apply a little bit more of our red. All right, we'll start with bright green. Save enough for the other side. And then we do a quick wash over that with the new emerald green, which is a little darker and that'll give it some texture when we're finished. Okay, that's all dyed. Hopefully we get good penetration everywhere. So it'll go in the tub for 24 hours and we'll take it out. I won't put this on camera, but I'll take it out 
rinse out the excess dye here at the sink and then it will go into the wash with regular detergent and the dye fixative and then I'll show you uh, the results tomorrow. All right, have a good night. Okay, Busters, and so here we are, the result. The peace sign pattern came out very well. It's very easy to read. Colors are good, saturation. And now you can see also on the green, when you use two colors, you have a lighter color and then a darker color that you wash over it. This is the type of modeled look that you get. That's a uh, very common and traditional in uh, tie-dye. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this project. All right, let's wrap this up over at the table. All right, gang, I hope you enjoyed that project. Go out and give that a try. I hope you have good success with it. And our next video in our tie-dye series, we're going to deviate away from t-shirts for the time being. I have several leftover colors that will look really good for a Ron Star wall hanging. So thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, tell your friends about us. I'm always happy to see new subscribers. Our latest subscriber is Olivia. Thank you for subscribing, Olivia. I hope you enjoyed this video as well as you did the last one. So remember to go out and have a good day and bust out some art.